Find the Maclaurin series for f of x equals x times the cosine of 2x. Solution. We'll start by writing down the Maclaurin series for cosine x. So cosine x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n x to the 2n all being divided by 2n factorial. Now an easy way to remember this is that cosine is even, so you're going to have a 2n here. The sine function is odd, so you have a 2n plus 1. So pretty easy trick. Okay, so we want the Maclaurin series for x cosine 2x. So let's go ahead and write it down. x cosine 2x. This will be x times the infinite sum. Now we're going to use the formula on cosine 2x as n runs from 0 to infinity. And we still have the negative 1 to the n. Now instead of x, we have 2x. So it'll be 2x to the 2n. So 2x to the 2n. All of this is being divided by 2n factorial. Let's keep going. This is equal to x times the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n. Now 2x to the 2n can be written as 2 to the 2n, x to the 2n, using properties of exponents. So this is 2 to the 2n, x to the 2n. And in the denominator, we still have the 2n factorial. You could go a little further with this. You could actually take 2 to the 2n and think of it as 2 squared to the n. And 2 squared is 4, so this is really 4 to the n. So you could really write this piece here as 4 to the n if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and finish. So this is equal to, we can distribute the x. This is really x to the first power. When you multiply x to the first power times x to the 2n, you end up with x to the 2n plus 1. So this is the sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n. Let's go ahead and write this as 4 to the n. Why not? So 4 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1. And all of this is being divided by 2n factorial. Again, x to the first power times x to the 2n, you just add the exponents and you get 2n plus 1. And that's it. I hope this example helps.